Hey guys, welcome to Dominate Fishing. I'm Dan Meyer, and in this short video, we're going to be talking pre spawn crappies. I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to find and catch more of these pre, -sp these pre spawn crappies. We're going to be talking location, tactics, and lures to use uh, to catch more fish. So, we're going to start out with tip number one, and that is definitely going to be location. Being able to locate crappies is probably one of the most important skills that a crappie fisherman can have. So for tip number one, we're going to be talking about where to locate these spring crappies. So what's going to happen in the spring is these crappies, they're going to have been wintering out in the deep water. So this is going to be the, the hype, my hypothetical lake for this example. And we're going to say these two circles here these are representing the deep holes in this lake there's two of them they you know are 25 feet you know this one's 20 feet and this is where the crappies have spent all winter when spring comes along if you're fishing a lake that freezes over it's going to be soon as the ice goes off if it's a, if you're fishing you know further south where the lakes don't freeze it's going to be as soon as that winter breaks and the water temps start to rise the crappies are going to move shallow so let's say you're up north and the, the ice just goes off the lake. If the weather is warm and stable, there's some sun that, you know, the, the sun is out, it's warm. Those crappies, it could be the day the ice goes off the lake. It could be, you know, the, the ice goes off sometimes in stages. Maybe the first part of the lake has opened up and just the, the southernmost part of the lake still has ice on it. Those crappies could be moving up already. So probably within you know a day to a couple days, maybe a week from the ice out, those crappies are going to be starting to go shallow. If it's a you know a small dark lake, it could be the same day. Assuming that sun is out and it's warm, you know if it's a deep clear lake, might take a couple days before those crappies start moving shallow. When they start to move shallow, they're, what they're going to be looking for is mucky, you know dark bottom a lot of times it's going to be muck and in it though the part of the lake that's going to warm the first is the northern bay so when we look at this lake we kind of we kind of have a bay right up in here and here this whole thing is a bay we got a deep spot in the bay this up here is the the northernmost part of the bay same right here that's probably where these crappies are going to go and they're going to get up real shallow because that shallow mucky water that's going to be what warms first and that's going to attract the bait fish and, and the crappies they are their their pre-spawn movement the first stage of the pre-spawn they're going up to find bait all went you know when you from midwinter on the food has is it's not been easy for the crappies to get a lot of them been feeding on or feeding on plankton and invertebrates not a big meal so they're moving up to hunt minnows so you're going to be looking for cover, weeds or sticks in most cases, or bulrushes. Bulrushes are also good. That's what's going to attract the minnows, and that's what's going to attract the crappies. So the, the first thing you want to do to find and catch pre-spawn crappies is locate them. Locating the crappies is probably the most important skill any crappie fisherman can have. You have to be able to find them. So that's why I've created my seven step crappie locating system. It's a free system. If you want it, just click on the link in the description of this video. You can use that to aid you in finding not only pre-spawn crappies, but crappies all year long. It's the same steps that I use when I go out on a new lake or any lake to find crappies. So if you want that system, it's free. Just click on the link in the description of this video, enter your details. I will email that to you and that's kind of that will aid you in your your quest to find these spring crappies. So to, to get these pre-spawn crappies we're going to be looking shallow dark bottom bays. It, you know it could be it also could be a channel a uh, you know a, a boat channel or a channel going back into a marina it could be any of those it could be docks back up in a in a boat channel or marina those are the, the areas that are going to attract those early stage pre-spawn crappies. 
the, the later stage pre-spawn crappies are going to be looking something different because they're going to be looking they're going to be looking to spawn, but these early stage pre-spawn crappies, they're looking to move up into some warmer water and feed. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, we're going to talk about some tactics here. And tip number two is to stay mobile. When you're looking for these pre-spawn crappies, especially the early stage ones, the first thing you got to know is when you get up into this bay, you know, there could be some weed beds, some old growth weeds, and it could be a fairly big area and when you get up there when you pull into the bay picture yourself pulling into a bay where do you start fishing well you don't know you don't know where the crappies are located in that area so you need to stay mobile so some of the techniques that I like to do and it doesn't have to be weeds here we have weeds let's say this bay there's no weeds but there's all kinds of down trees in the water you know there's some logs so so how do you fish those? Well, there's a technique that I've used ever since I, I was a kid. Me and my one of my friends, we like to just take our rowboat and we would just go down these shores and we would cast beetle spins up into the down timber and we would hammer slab crappies. And that's a that's a technique that I like to use still. And I, I'll use it, you know, working a shoreline, casting up into uh, down trees, because that uh, beetle spins a great search lure, because you cast it out, reel it back, you're slowly moving down the shore with your trolling motor or rowing, whatever you got, or if you're using a kayak, slowly moving the sh the shoreline, casting that beetle spin up into the wood, bringing it back. Great technique. You can also use a beetle spin, cast and retrieve along the weeds, throw it up in the weeds, bring it back. That's going to help you locate where these crappies are sitting. Once you find them, then you can back off, anchor, and throw slip bobbers into them and just hammer on that school. But you, you don't want to drop your anchor and just sit there and wait for them to come because they might not come. You have to find them before you're going to start dialing in with slip bobbers or whatever method you're going to use. Another method that I like to do is I'll put my boat right outside the weeds and I will cast a, a tube jig under a bobber. I'll throw that up there, work it back to the boat. You could use a tube jig, you could use a galt minnow, you could use a live minnow, whatever. Cast it up, bring it back to the boat, keep moving until you find the schools of crappies. Once you find them, then you can, if you want, you can drop your anchor and you know really dial in with a bunch of with a bobber spread or I usually just keep this, doing the same technique, just you slowly moving back and forth, working the slip bobber or the beetle spin, staying on these fish because, again, these pre-spawn crappies, they like to move. So, as far as lures, you know, we talked about the beetle spin, tube jigs, um, minnows, they all work great. There's marabou jigs work really well in the spring either just the jig or tipped with a minnow uh, depending they especially work well for cold front times because um, the this pre-spawn bite up shallow is going to work well when you've got <clears throat> warm stable condition you've got some sun it could be cloudy as long as it's still warm if you get a cold front these fish they're gonna push out they're gonna they're gonna push a little deeper they're not gonna be right up shallow um, early when you get a cold front. The cold front's going to push them out. So the key is the warmth. You want to find the warm water and, uh, and the cover and that's where these crappies are going to be. So the third tip for fishing these pre-spawn crappies, we've talked about kind of where to find them, some techniques that will work. The third tip is to realize that the early stage of the pre-spawn is not really spawning related so there <clears throat> what a lot of guys like to do is they like to go where they where they catch them spawning and check if they're there and a lot of times they're not there so they don't catch any crappies until the spawn happens well what happens with the early stage of the pre-spawn is they're moving up into these areas to feed so 
you're looking for the warmest water, it's usually going to be a mucky bottom. The crappies, they don't want to spawn on a mucky bottom if, if there's hard bottom nearby. So another thing that can happen is you can find them way up tucked in a bay or up a channel on the mucky bottom. And then all of a sudden one day the water's been warming, they're gone. But what's happening is then they're moving over towards the spawning area. So if you know where crappies spawn, a good move is... To go to, to go to that area, but then look for the pre-spawn conditions. It, it might be a little shallower, you know, it might be some thick weeds near where they spawn, but not quite there. And, and sometimes they're going to be right next to where they spawn. Like if there's a huge bulrush patch, they might be in the bulrushes pre-spawn and spawn. But just realize that their their reason for going shallow early is to find food and then when you get towards the end of the pre-spawn and into the spawn then it's spawning so they might move to two different areas um, pre-spawn and then spawn so keep that in mind it, they might not, they're not going to go straight to their spawning grounds they they might but they also might not they might go near their spawning grounds to a little bit warmer water early stages of the pre-spawn so I hope this video helps um, make sure you get a copy of my 7-step crappie locating system to help you in your search for finding these pre-spawn crappies. And uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.